Hey guys, so originally I had planned to show off the new guys, the new snakes, when, you know, I've had them for a little while and I've got them a little more established and I can take them out and show you and everything, but it's like, tonight is feeding night, you know, first time I'm going to feed them and I wanted to show you guys feeding them. So, while I've got the rats and mice thawing, I'm just going to do the introduction now, so you guys get to meet all my, my new people early. To start off with is Metroid, everyone knows her. Beautiful girl, my favorite. She is a high pink Argentine crossed with a Colombian, and she is just the sweetest thing I have ever held. I love her so much. Yes, you're such a good girl. Okay, in you go. All right, now for the new ones. Here's the ah, oh, jeez, what was it? It's a male. Getting away. <laughs> come out here, buddy. I decided to name this guy Bowser. Hey, come on out here. Hey. Hey, you. Come on. Come on. Let everyone see you. I don't want to disturb him too much because this is going to be his first feeding and I don't want to stress him out. But he and the next snake are going to show you, which are from the same clutch, are het. I'm, I'm actually new to all this morph stuff, so I'm not really sure what het means, but they were... Het and 66% chance for Ghost and Sun Glow, I believe. So, I'm hoping to get a few very pretty babies out of them. He looks a lot different from her. Alright, so now his intended mate, I named her Peach. I'm like Princess Peach. Try to keep the video game theme going. And yeah, look at her. She's got so much more pink to her, so... I feel Peach is a really appropriate name for her. Hey, girl. Yeah. You nice. Oh, I'm not going to touch you. I don't want to stress you out. I'm really hoping this feeding goes well. So, I haven't had any experience with young snakes yet, so... I've been, like, handling them as little as possible. Alright, so now this one is a ball python, and I am aware that you're not supposed to keep them together. But I wash my hands before and after, you know, the I, I touch the boas and the python. I am looking to get a separate tub system so that I so that you know I don't have this possibility of keeping them together. Always keeping my eye out. But this is my female Mojave ball python and she is just a beauty. Look at that, huh? You know, it's actually pretty funny. I find the new boas curled up in a ball almost all the time, and she's always in the back, just as she is, kind of like splayed out. I thought it was kind of funny. Alright, so, that's my kids. At least, just, at least the snakes. <laughs> but, we'll come back when it's feeding time. See you soon. Hey, so I went and checked the container I actually got the two boas from, and I just wanted to, like, make sure on everything. So it turns out I was I was wrong at some point. They are hypo, 66% het, albino, not ghost, and sunglow. Yeah. Still, you know, you got some nice babies out of them. In a few years, once they're of age. I'm looking forward to that. And to complete the introduction of what I got at the expo, I have here my little tank I got from a friend. Simple trade I made with him. But that is one of them. I got a pair of two-month-old captive bred bred, I believe that's how you say it, CBB, toke geckos. And they are not common tokes, they're mole mole. Some some kind of color pattern. It seems pretty basic to me, honestly. I wish I'd get more light in there, but if I turn on the light, it'll freak him out and he'll run away. That's the male. And the female is hidden somewhere in the foliage, I'd imagine. She's much smaller than him. If he gets any more bigger than her, I might actually have to separate them due to, you know, you don't want large lizards with small lizards. But... 
they are captive bred bred, which means that their their parents are captive bred. So hopefully some of the natural aggression of tokes is bred out of them. Let me see if I can just zoom in. I'll get a better shot. I've got a few months before I can even touch these guys. That is, if I can even catch them. Just... No. Too dark. Sorry, guys. Maybe another time. They really only come out at night, because, you know, they're nocturnal. But it sure is nice coming in here and seeing them stuck to the wall. I love this little guy. I haven't named him or the female yet, so if you have any suggestions, put them in the, the comments. Give me a like. Some feedback. It's always nice. Alrighty. We got our food. We got our tongs. Let's see who's gonna eat. Start with you, Metroid. I know you'll eat. You always do. Hey, you. Ooh, there it is. At a girl. Yeah. All right. Now for Bowser. Come on. Hey, you. Let's give you the black one. Mm hmm? Oh, there it is. That a boy. That a boy, Bowser. I feel like I may have just called him Baxter earlier. That that was the name I was considering giving him, but I decided to go with Bowser because I I wanted to keep the video game theme. Hey, Peach. All right, your turn. Get this little white one. Okay, sweetie. Mm hmm, what do you think? No? Mm. From the little handling I've done, I've noticed she has a much more shy demeanor compared to Bowser, so I was afraid she wouldn't eat. Alright, well I'm going to leave it in here and hopefully she'll take it. Let me try again after I attempt the ball python. By the way, I forgot to tell you her name. Oh, and different tongs for python. Being extra careful. Her name is Mandy. And I know that's not a video game character, but... The snake I'm breeding her with is named Grim. So, hmm, Grim, Mandy, like Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, if any of you are Cartoon Network fans. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on. No, she's not looking like she's going to want it either. Mm. Come on. All right. Well, I'll leave it in there. Hopefully the two of them will eat. And if not, I'll try again another week with Frozen, and if that doesn't work, then I will... I will have to get live and see if that works out. So... Yeah. All right, well, that's about it for that.